Alex, thank you. Graduation ceremonies get underway at UCLA in just a few hours. The commencements, though, come under the shadow of the pro-Palestinian protests and the university's handling of them. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live in Westwood on the UCLA campus with the very latest. Cara, good morning. Good morning. Tens of thousands of people expected on this campus today. So security has been heightened. And you can see behind me those flower and souvenir grad stands all getting set up. Some celebrations, though, they've already taken place. Take a look. UCLA football and water polo amongst those now posting photos of their senior athletes who were honored for their academic and athletic achievements. About 15,000 Bruins and all, they are going to be walking the stage during this week's commencement ceremonies. UCLA says some demonstrations are a possibility. The events follow months of campus unrest and the naming of a new chancellor. You're a great world leader, and it's uh, wonderful to welcome you to the University of California family. Welcome, Julio. Dr. Julio Frank was born in Mexico City and was a global public health researcher before becoming president of the University of Miami. He succeeds Gene Block, who was chancellor for 17 years and had announced his retirement before the recent demonstrations began. What do I do? Groups have continued to raise their voices on UCLA's campus about the war in Gaza. Earlier this spring, pro-Palestinian encampments were built and cleared by police with many arrests. And this week, there were more arrests. Demonstrators are calling for the system to cut ties with companies that invest in weapons manufacturing for the Israeli military. And back here live, the first of the big, the main commencement ceremonies gets underway at 11 this morning in Poly Pavilion. And I have to say, I am a proud aunt. My nephew is amongst those, Hayden, in that water polo picture. Oh, congratulations, awesome. Hayden. Thank you, Cara. <laughs> and classes at Cal State LA.